So I just got back from seeing a showing of The Shack, and given that there was like 100 people in the theater and I was one of the youngest people there, I might not be the target audience for this film. So in the shack, several months after Sam Worthington's daughter has died, he finds himself depressed for the obvious reasons. One day he gets a mysterious note in his mailbox telling him to go to a shack. When he goes there, he encounters God and they start talking about, well, life. Hence our movie. So if you're unaware, this movie is based off a book that was very popular about 10 years ago, but it was also very controversial. I haven't read the book, but I'd probably be more in the category considering it controversial. At the same time, I'm pretty sure my church back like eight years ago had at least one small group that went through the book as kind of a Bible study. So that's kind of the, my background on it. But as I said, this is a movie that's very difficult to review for two simple reasons. First off, I'm not really the target audience for the book or the movie. And second, because this movie inherent to it is attempting to explore questions about why do bad things happen to good people and the pain of life through a story. And it's doing all this through the lens of Christianity and exploring somewhat Christian theology. So my degree is in Bible, but right now I am a movie reviewer. So I'm torn between two different things where in evaluating the answers given in the movie, I kind of lean towards Bible guy, while at the same time, I'm doing a movie review right now, so I'm a little bit torn as to how exactly to review this and do it fairly. I believe I'm actually gonna do a second review in a couple days with someone else talking theologically, but I'm gonna attempt to review this as a movie at the moment. So let's start off by talking about the good. The best thing about this movie are the performances of Sam Worthington and Octavia Spencer. So Sam Worthington is the star of the movie. He's the dad that is hurting that goes to the shack and explores all the pain and the hurt of life. And I haven't like followed a ton of his stuff. I've liked him in everything I've seen him in, but I've only seen him really in you know, Avatar and uh, the Terminator Salvation. So I've seen him in blockbuster type stuff. Here, he's a grieving father. And so for an actor, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, teeing off that's your opportunity to shine, and he really does. He gives a great performance in a movie that, like I said, not really my type of thing, but there's moments where I was like, wow, he's, he's actually doing a really good job in this. Then, of course, Octavia Spencer, who is a an amazing actress, and she plays Papa, who is essentially God the Father of the Trinity and Christian theology. That's essentially who she's playing in the movie. And of course, because she's an amazing actress, she gives an amazing performance. And the two of them play off of each other well and have good chemistry throughout the movie. And that's really what makes this movie work. Other good things about the movie is that, uh, I mean, there's a lot of gorgeous shots in it. Uh, the imagery is quite vivid and you know beautiful to look at. And as it kind of explores some of the themes that it's going into, there's there's definitely some moments in it that have some good poignant moments of insight where you can go, oh, that like, gives you this twist on you know how you view judging other people and how we hate to being judged and certain ideas and forgiveness and how we hold on to things and when instead of letting it go when, when we don't forgive people. So there's several places where it has some themes that have some insight and poignance to it. With that said, for the most part, I just can't say that this was a good movie. So back to the idea of, like I said, that this movie is exploring ideas of why do bad things happen to good people. Inherent to the story here is it's not very cinematic because the nature of it is a guy goes to a shack and then spends the next hour talking to the persons of the Godhead about the nature of evil and why did God let things happen and all the hurts and pains of his life and exploring these things, but it's people there talking. It's a very literary type of thing to have happen, but the nature of cinema is seeing rather than being told. And so in this movie, it starts off in the first five, 10 minutes of it is all exposition about Sam Worthington's character and his him growing up and kind of his, his background with church, his background with God, the pain of his life, the biggest regrets and sins and secrets of his life. And then our story begins and then bad things happen. It's told very cinematically and with the bad things that happen. And then from there we go into people talking about theology, uh, philosophy, and the ideas of forgiveness and doubt and pain. But it's not cinematic because we're talking about it. We're not seeing it done. And in that, I can't say that this is good cinema because that is not what the 
medium is really for. I mean, they do the best that you can do with this type of story, but that's to say it's a type of story that I think works best in a book as opposed to on screen. Also, continue on, I said that there are a couple of great performances and some of them are not so great. For example, the character that plays Sam Worth or actor that plays Sam Worthington's father, I don't think he does a particularly good job. He's not a gigantic part of the movie, but it's for what he has seems pretty one note and weak compared to Sam Worthington and Octavia Spencer and what they're kind of delivering in the movie. And uh, kind of beyond that, like the movie it comes up pretty uneven because it starts off and it's like this expository segment and then it's very cinematic and then it's people talking and then we go back to covering things. And so it's, it's in the nature of it, it kind of flows pretty uneven. And I, I just have to say like for me, movie got pretty boring pretty fast because I'm not really the target audience for it. And I, I, I don't want to dive in too deep into this, but because the movie is intended to answer hard questions, it's intended to explore the nature of God and man's relationship with God. And why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Its answers to those questions, for the most part, are very unsatisfactory. A lot of it just feels like cliches that you would put on a coffee mug that you would write on your refrigerator and it concocts scenarios so you have a conversation that takes a very serious hard question that leads people to doubt that has led many people to write hundreds thousands of books answering some of these questions and then you have like a three minute conversation where a guy like chews out god for two minutes and then one of these god characters just kind of delivers a cliche line kind of delivers some sort of things like well you don't have the whole picture well, you're being the judge, and what if you got off that seat and let me do my job? And, and stuff like that, where you just kind of go, that's not a satisfying answer to the questions we're talking about. And even so, well, like when he, I, I mentioned kind of forgiveness having some good poignant moments to it, but like even in its exploration of the idea of forgiveness, it doesn't explore the idea of forgiveness and what that is and the idea that someone has wronged me, they've taken something from me, that they can't necessarily pay back. And that's why forgiveness is often so hard because we've been wronged in the past and the person can't do anything to pay us back. They can't, it just has to be forgiven. The debt that they owe me has to just be erased. And the movie doesn't even explore the ideas that it's going after with any sort of depth of like, what it is forgiveness? What is the idea of it? Why is it so hard for us to forgive in certain situations? It just kind of goes, you need to forgive and let it go. You got to forgive. You got to forgive. Yeah, but why? And why? And so it doesn't explore things the way I would think it would, given that that's the whole point of the movie to explore these types of questions. So all in all, I, I'm really struggling as how to rate this movie because it's, it's not a movie that was designed for me. Like I was in the theater with one of my new buddies and um, actually one of my former students and Everyone else is much older than us and they're like crying and weeping and the movie really stirred their emotions and we're just kind of sitting like, okay, okay, <laughs> just watching it. Um, so very difficult for me to rate this, but I can only rate it as movie reviewer guy and as Bible guy. And in those regards, it's not an awful movie. There have been far worse movies made this year. It's constructed pretty well. It's pretty clear in what it's trying to communicate, though it does kind of assume you have a lot of base level knowledge of Christianity. I don't know how you would interpret this movie if you don't have a base knowledge of Christianity and the Trinity and forgiveness and gospel and type things in, in the biblical and Christian sense, it just assumes you have that knowledge. With all that said, just to get to my rating, I think I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. I didn't hate the movie. I wasn't, I was kind of bored, but not totally bored. And whenever I started to get bored, it would move on to the next thing quick enough that my mind was kept engaged. But at the end of the day, I really can't recommend this movie to, to anyone. It's just not a terrible movie that I wouldn't really remember or recommend to anyone. But if I'm being honest, really, I'd be very nervous about most people going to go see this movie because even in the levels to which it's it has some helpful ideas and explores some ideas and gives some clarity, it does so without giving a full picture in good enough theology to give, have the right context. And so the what people bring into certain conversations really matters if you don't explore the whole idea of the subject you're talking about, in which case I would get very nervous about most people going to go see this movie, even as just entertainment, because this entertainment is intended to communicate a theology to you very explicitly. So I really can't recommend this movie, but it's not awful. And there are a couple of great performances in it. With all this said, that's 
that's just my opinion. How about you? What did you think about the movie? I'm really actually most interested in, if you don't have a Bible background, a church background, Christian background, and you've seen this movie, what did you think about it? What did you make of it? Because that's a very interesting question because I, like, I don't know how you would evaluate this movie because you know I evaluated as a guy with a degree in Bible. What did you think about this movie? But I don't want to exclude people. If you are a churchy person and you disagree with me, let's have a great conversation about this movie because I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me in the conversation down below and thank you for watching.